What's up guys? So we're out here outside of Flo Mazda here in Fayetteville and um, we got something that we're picking up, something that you guys haven't seen here on the channel in a long while. The Mazda. The Mazda 6. Everybody thinks I'm just Mopar heavy or whatever, but I have a lot of different branded cars. So. Oh. But we're waiting on them to bring the keys out and it will be good. Oh. It's been a while. I haven't I haven't taken you guys for a ride in this car in what a year? I think this car it's a 2017 it was purchased new. And I think this car might have 35,000 miles on it, maybe. And I have all but that just that little dent where somebody door dinged it right there. Maybe I'll do a video on getting that out. I'll do some PDR, huh? But overall, she's clean. It probably needs a bath. It's covered in pollen and whatever else right now. Probably wash it before we go put it back in storage. All right, so we got the keys. Now, we're going to jump in. I got to be honest, man. You know what? You know what? You know what's really awesome about this car is when that whole front end lights up at night. Shit is sick, man. I ain't going to lie. I enjoy it. It's zippy, too. People be thinking this car is not not great or not fast and literally have no idea just how luxurious and just how quick these Mazdas are. Damn, I almost had a small ass service person. Whew. But there it is, look. 34,495. Like, car has no miles for a 17, man. All right, so now we're off. This has a... Oh, shit, I'm hitting the gas. It's been a while since I drove this car. So this has the double clutch transmission. It's not a. It's not like um, Volkswagen or the DSG. I even think it's a little quicker. But it's pretty cool. The heads-up display is right here, that little piece of plastic that pops up. And if you look down here, you might be able to see what's there. But let me show you how zippy this thing is. She's pretty quick. I need to put her in um, sport mode, which is right here. Well, it looks like I found an issue with the OnePlus cameras. They fog up. That's not a good look at all. I'm not happy about this at all. Whew. Maybe because I turned the AC on and it was blowing on it. It was so cold. Anyways, I was trying to show you guys how quick and zippy she is. But uh, my camera overheated. So we'll have to try that again here in a minute. Uh, we'll try it once we fill her up with some gas. Alright, now we got a full tank of gas. I'm going to drop her in sport mode. Oh, I got to say though. Over time... This car is surprised me. I've taken her out on a couple of long trips. That's why it's got the miles it has on it now. But for the most part, she literally just sits. Hardly ever gets driven. Um, and it's a great car, man. So when people are like, oh, TK is only like this, or he only likes BMWs, or oh, now TK only likes Dodges, that's not the case. This car literally surprised me, man. Wasn't it Mazda or was it Nissan that had the Zoom Zoom campaign? I don't remember. I thought it was Mazda. Zoom Zoom. I don't remember. But this thing has been great. Let me put my seatbelt on. As much as I don't want to. Ugh. And hopefully this thing will stop overheating the damn camera. But before we get into the full drive and some sporty racing with this thing... I gotta go to Wingstop, man. I'm hungry. <clears throat> I 
backing on up. <clears throat> this has paddle shifters too, and believe me, they do work. But she's pretty zippy, man. We'll get out here in a second. And I can give you guys an idea. <clears throat> Even though it's raining and this is probably the worst possible time to be driving on Skybo because of uh, the absolute dumbasses that can't drive here already. And then you add in water and wet roads and oof, it's a problem. But this little thing is fast, man. I always enjoy driving this thing, man. I guess I need to drive this more, man. I need to drive this thing more, man. This car kind of gives you like that <clears throat> German engineering kind of feel to it. You know what I'm saying? It really does. The steering wheel is not completely flat right here, but it's kind of, you know, odd shaped. It's just nice, man. It's just really nice. It is just really nice. <clears throat> I know some people say, well, I like my Mazda 3. I don't. I just don't think the Mazda 3 is as luxurious as the 6. But the self-driving mode, like it has its own little, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Um, lane departure joint, but you can set it up and it will like slow down. I'm trying to fix my watch, sorry guys. It'll slow down, speed up, all that stuff on its own with the adaptive cruise. And it will keep itself in the lane. And if you, like, just hang something on the wheel or put something, like, right here, just hang something on it, clip something on it, it'll the car will legit drive itself until it misses a line or something. And then, you know, it'll scare the crap out of you. But it's no different than a Tesla. Not really. I'm just, I'm, that's cap. But you know what I mean. She's pretty zippy. As you can see, she's she don't she ain't messing around, man. They had us forecasted for hail, so I'm hoping I can get this thing back and put it back in storage before the hail comes. I didn't even get anywhere near the mileage on this oil change. Literally, I'm changing the oil like every six months, and it's literally just sitting. But you know, it is what it is. It is a little funny to feel the steering wheel vibrate when you're switching lanes and you don't put the turn signal on because it's basically telling you, hey, hey, wait a minute, you're, you're losing your lane. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say like, oh, TK, there's no way you can actually really like that car. And I do, man. Look, I'm, you know, yes, I am a massive, I'm still a massive BMW fan, probably always will be. Um... But, yeah. Whew. So when you're in sport mode, it'll hold the gears a little longer. And she moves. Like, she's very zippy. Very, very zippy. It's always fun to feel this thing trying to fight you when you... I gotta just start using my turn signal when I move. But this thing just flies, man. And the paddle shifters work. You know, I can shift down and then I can downshift. As you can see. Is it a six speed only? I thought I was seven. Or eight. Maybe it is only six. <laughs> oh 
boy. Another day in the life here in Fayetteville. Somebody's getting their ass loaded up into a a stretcher. That's one hospital you definitely don't want to go to if you're here in North Carolina. It's Cape Fear Valley. Stay away from that like the plague, man. They ain't got no police help here. I'm shocked. And they're already getting somebody out of the car. But that joint, it doesn't even look like it's that serious. It don't even look that, the accident, the accident didn't look bad at all. Like there was no damage to either vehicle. That's weird. Huh. What's up about the joy? I know you don't like being on camera, so. Ha <laughs> <laughs>